morning, class. Good morning, Mom Divine. Okay, so before you sit down, please pick up some pieces of paper and arrange your chairs. Okay, so now please sit properly. And how are you today? Great. Great. So now, um, before we start our lesson, um, who would like to lead a prayer, please? Uh, Mr. Galvez, can you lead a prayer? It's all right. So I have to the eyes and let us pray. And most of the just can have any father. We could do thank you for this opportunity to be able to be here. so much for the big prayer and the protection of the sister and our daily day. The Lord bless me, your Holy Spirit, and the Lord lead us. Please help us and um, give us every knowledge and wisdom that we, uh, we may be able to understand the lesson we, uh, we are talking this day. Thank you so much for the wisdom. Please give us some of our sins and pray. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much. Um, please sit down. Okay, so again, how are you today? Are you good? Yes, yes. Ma are you happy? Yes, yes that's very good to hear. Here, so now let us check the attendance. Um, Miss Alamis, Miss Anshola, um, Berkilia, here. Okay, um, Miss Lamoranas, Mr. Galvez, Miss Tabing, Will Essential. All right, so wow. Um, very good class because the attendance for today is perfect and i just want to remind you that you should not be absent because we will be having our long quiz on tuesday okay yes ma I, okay so now as we open our new lesson our new lesson for today is using propaganda techniques but before that uh, before we will delve deeper to our topic uh i want somebody to tell the class what is our lesson the last time Okay, oh uh, yes, Miss Lamoranas. Okay, so our topic yesterday was about the prosodic features and its elements. So, prosodic features are those features that appear when we put sounds together in connected speech. So, it is as important to teach learners prosodic features as successful communication depends as much on intonation, stress, rhythm, and the correct pronunciation of sounds. So, we have like the five elements of prosodic speech, the pause, the tempo, the volume, the stress, and the pitch. So, pause is a, are used to demarcate units of grammatical construction. Intonation are those, uh, are those things that, can, that is in line with the loudness and the pitch of the of a text or the context. Volume is the slight increase in loudness to indicate stress. Uh, volume also is generally shows emotions or fear or anger. Tempo, or, or also known as speed, is an extent to matter of an idiolect. Very good, Miss Lamorena. So, wow, so Miss Lamorena have really remembered and understood the topic that we had last time. So, please give a hand for Miss Lamorena. All right, so. Um, I think um, I can say that the students in this class are totally intelligent and so keep it that keep it up guys and to continue let us play oh before that um, let us here are, is our learning objective so at the end of the lesson um, the, please read everyone and analyze the intention of words or expressions using propaganda techniques Formulate an idea on how to use propaganda techniques and create a video presentation that contains propaganda techniques in a story. Very good. So now, uh, before we will discuss or learn our lesson, so let us play a game first. Are you excited? Yes. yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. So now our game for today is entitled Fear the wheel so i will be flashing on the screen a random categories and each one of you will stand up and recite um according to category given so the student who cannot give a name or cannot recite in five seconds he or she will be the one to play on the wheels of name okay all right am i understood yes, yes ma am i clear yes, yes that's good so in the wheel of names there are there are taglines or statements and the student who will play will um read the tagline or the statement with full emotions and the other classmates your classmates will guess what uh, from what brand it is all right 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now let us start. So that, the category, okay, ready yourselves, class, okay? Um, the category is educational applications. So let's start with Ms. Lamorenas. <coughs> Very good. Um, One class. Very good. Ms. Very good. Model. LMS. Very good. Zoom. Yeah. What? Gmail. Okay, it was uh, mentioned earlier by Miss Number. Okay, so Miss Tommy will <laughs> will read the statement here. So your statement 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 is. Okay, so uh, before that, be, after you will, after Miss Tubbing will read that, you will guess what it, from what brand it is, and if you are right, then the whole class will receive a point. Okay, take it away, Miss Tubbing. So, um, it's finger licking good. All right, uh, Mister <laughs> Miss Tubbing, your enunciation is right, but I want you to say it with full emotions. <laughs> it's finger licking good. Very good. And class, from what brand it is? Clover. Clover. Clover, is it correct? Clover is correct. Very good. And then, next category is... Noontime TV shows. Go. Mr. Galvez. It Bulaga. Mr. Barkilia. One. Showtime. Oh, Miss Tubbing. One. One. Two. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Tabby. <laughs> okay, Miss Tabby. <laughs> you will play the game once again, Miss Tabby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, Miss Tabby. So, um, we've got it all for you. One more time, Miss Tabby. We've got it all for you. Very good. And what, from what brand it is or what store is it? One, two, three. One. Um, yes, Miss Lamarenas, I think it's from SM. Very good. Wow, you're so great, students. And now, the next category is shampoo brands. Go, Miss Lamorena. One. Shop. One. 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 Mr. One. 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 You. Mm -hmm. Give me some David a shampoo, give me some. Okay. <laughs> 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 a shampoo, that is conditioner. Okay, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Galvez, your line is. Yes. With full emotions, with full of expressions. <laughs> <coughs> Lucky me. 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 Rainbow colors. All right. So, Miss Lumarana, red, yellow, blue, green, or, uh, orange. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that right? The orange. Are you violet? Yellow. Another. Yeah. 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 It's the third category, right? Okay, take it away, Ms. Lamorenas. Oh, it's done. I think it's done. 
Okay, I think it's done already. How I don't know. With emotions, with expressions. <laughs> Take it away, Miss Lamarenas. Smooth hair that you simply finger comb. And can you do like that your hair? Uh, <laughs> and, and in the advertisement. Smooth hair, yeah. I have smooth hair that you simply finger comb. Very good, Miss Lamarenas. And from what brand it is? Oh, oh, it. It. Very good, very good. We've got another point. And then. The last category is, are you guys excited? No. Yes. 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 yes, you should be excited because this is the last. Okay, places in the Philippines. Miss Limarena, go. Cebu. Mr. Bacilio? Mr. Manila. Carmen. Corona Dali. Lumas. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Louder your voice so that you can come and enjoy. Pakibato. Pakibato. He said Pakibato and you repeated it. No, no, no. Kotabato. I said Kotabato. I'm sorry. Your teacher didn't hear it right. Okay. Mr. Bacilio, 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 um, 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 One, two, Talaignon. Dama Oriental. Okay. And she said, she said Kabita already. So you will be the person who will play the wheels of name. And the last, oh, I will not spin the wheel because the, um, okay, I will just spin on it because this is the last. No. Okay, take it away, Mr. Barkelia. Mm -hmm. With full of emotions, with facial expressions. Last even longer than expensive perfume. That's one more time, Mr. Berkelia. I can I cannot feel your emotion. Lasts even longer than expensive perfume. Very good. And from what brand it is? Downy. Downy. <coughs> How about you guys? Is it Downy? Yeah. Downy. Very good. Correct. Wow. Thank you so much, guys, for our class, for your participation. And now, um. Without further ado, let's do an activity. Are you excited again? Yes. yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, um, for your activity, you will be grouped into two. So this is the group one, and this is the group two. And then, um, you will create your own scenario or or a short background story before proceeding or before highlighting the main scene of the of your presentation which is contained a scene in which you will portray or act out the flash comic strip on the screen with full emotions once again because i can see your potential as actors and actresses in the future okay so this is the comic strip so you will be reading this one and you will be acting out or portraying this out so um i will give you two minutes to prepare and or to present it so the group one will be presenting it first and then the group two will uh, follow. Okay, so time starts now. So, uh, is that one, two, three, four, ma'am? Yes, and this is the first statement in this one. And this is the third one.
Okay, are you guys ready? Yes, ma'am. So are you guys ready to show your acting skills? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Alright, so let's start with the group one. Go, girls. Okay. Good day, mom. You look beautiful today. Would you like to try our newest product, Papaya Wonder Soap? Whitens your skin in just seven days. In just seven days? No way. You're a liar. It might be dangerous for a skin. I should go now. Wait, listen. There is no way that this product could damage your skin because papaya wonder soap is 100% organic. In fact, many people are already using it. Wow, really? Now, I'm interested in it. Okay, I'll buy one. Well, very good. And a round of applause <laughs> for group one. Alright, so now let's <laughs> give it away for group two with the props. They're ready. They're prepared. Good day, ma'am. You look beautiful today. Would you like to try our newest product? Papaya Wonder Soap. Why is your skin in just seven days? In just seven days? No way. You're a liar. It might be dangerous for my skin. I should go now. Wait, listen. This, there's no way this product could damage your skin because Papaya Wonder Soap is 100% organic. In fact, many people are already using it. Wow, really? Now I'm, not, I'm interested of it. Okay, I'll buy one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Wow! Now for us, everybody. I think we have the winner because they have the props, they have their acting skills. So, congratulations, Group 2! Alright, so um, in connection to our activity, I want someone to share their idea about this question. So for the first question is, what have you noticed from the activity? Anyone? Yes, Miss Lamarenas? Okay, I have noticed that, uh, that the activity is um, interested where it, 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 I think this will be a connection on our topic this, after this session. So I think um, the, I think the activity was or I have, I have found also the activity um, eye-catching and this can I, and it is also like um, it boosts my confidence for this session. Thank you so much. Very good for that um, wonderful idea, Ms. Limorena. So for the second question is, how did the sales lady convince the woman to buy the product? Yes, um, who would like to raise their hand to answer? Anyone? Or I will call a name. Okay, Mr. Barkilia. What is your idea about this? How did the sales lady convince the woman to buy the product? Do I have to sign up? Yes. Please? Um, by using an example, by saying that people are already using it. Um, it's like saying a testimony that oh, other people are using it, so it must be a good product. So it's a little bit convincing now. Very good. Perfect, Mr. Barkilia. It seems like the sales lady have, has a very good communication skills because um, the lady or the woman bought the product, right? And the last question is, what do you think is the connection of the activity to the lesson for today? Okay, Miss um, Tobi, do you have in mind? Have so in I mind? think the activity that we have conducted is um, actually we have a role play so it's connected to our lesson for today yes um very good so very good so our topic is using propaganda techniques so um now we are in our abstraction part so class um have you decided to or have you tried to decide which products they use or have you tried to um, think, um, why do you buy that certain products? So have you tried that? Yes or no? Yes. 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 All right. So how about you, Miss Tubbing? Um, what made you buy your shirt? Uh, is this because someone says it nice or because it is also or trendy? I think because it's fit with my taste. Oh, wow. Well, that fits, that fits your taste. That's very good to hear, Miss Tubbing. And... Uh, how about Mr. Galvez? Can you repeat the question, ma'am? Um, um, 
what made you buy your shirt, your shorts? Is it because someone says it's nice or because someone or a lot of people are using it? No, I, I am particular with the um, the quality and I'm not um, into the, the quantity and though uh, many people when when I see peop, uh, people you are wearing um, like some, for example pen shop brands or coxygen and then I I used to buy that because that is wow well, the Bisaya word is also or trending. Oh wow! I love your idea, Mr. Galvez. And how about Miss Lorena's? Um, I used to buy clothes in a particular way. I, actually, I used to buy clothes because it's also, and I I don't I I don't like to be like and late in the trend. Wow, so that's your opinion about that, Miss um, Lumorena. So thank you so much guys for your idea. So no, we are most likely to be influenced by the words we hear or phrases to attract our attention. And oftentimes we forget to analyze the intention of those words on whether they are facts or fake because um, advertisers are using Propaganda. And so, what is propaganda? Can someone read, please? Um, Miss Iana? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so propaganda it is a form of communication that is aimed at influencing the attitudes, perspectives, and emotions of people or communities towards some cause or position by presenting only one side of an argument. Mm -hmm. Okay, so please continue, Miss Iana. Okay. So it is usually repeated and presented over a wide variety of media in order to attract the interest of a greater majority. Advertisers use propaganda to persuade people to buy their products or services. So they, um, Miss Iana, um, yes. do you have any idea about what you've read? Um, from, the, from the context or the definition of propaganda, I guess it tells about um, Fitting the current trend of the society in order to find the interest of the majority of people. Very good, Miss Iana. So thank, thank you so, so much, much for your um, idea, and I really like the way you speak and your enunciation. So yeah, no, um, there are a number of ways and or techniques and how to persuade people to buy products, accept ideas, and avail services, and those. Um, people who sell or who produce the products are uh, have this their way of selling it and they are using propaganda techniques which is a form of communication all right so um, there are five common types of propaganda techniques that we will be discussing or we will be learning this morning all right so for the first um, technique is testimonial can you read this Miss Alamis, please. Okay, in the testimonial, this popular advertising technique uses renowned or celebrity figures to endorse products and services. When a famous person vouches for something, viewers are likely to consider the person's credibility and popularity. Thank you so much, Miss Alamis, for your uh, for reading that one. All right, so um, when there is a famous person saying that he or she, um is using that certain product and that product is changing his or her lifestyle her life and um, that person is telling it to the public that is called testimonial all right um, am i understood yes, yes. very good and for, to further um understand the testimonial we have here an example so among you here doesn't know chris aquino everyone knows here right yes yes and and can you read the first example, Miss Tubbing? I finally found the coffee that goes well with my busy schedule. Very good. And this one, things go better with Coke and the other examples. So these examples are testimonies of those famous individuals that can capture the attention of people. So those people will buy the products because their um, idols or the one that... the um, there the famous people are introducing or saying that it's effective it's good and that is the testimonial all right class yes. all right so next is 
Card stocking. So can you please read it, Miss Lamaranas? Okay, card stocking. It is manipulating information so that one product looks better than an, than another. This often happens by leaving out important information. This often happens by leaving out important information. It gives the consumers the information they want to hear, even the information is not based on facts. And do you have any more idea about that, Mr. Marina? Okay, so, um, in my or on my own opinion, so card stacking, it is somehow like a manipulative one. So this focuses on how you are going to manipulate the mind of the people so that they will like encourage to buy such or that particular product. Very good, Miss Lamarena. So thank you for that wonderful idea. So we consumers like to buy or do something because, um, and we choose the best even if we like um, if we feel like uh, the information we hear is not true or it is um, not really the truth of that certain product. So here are some examples. So can you read it, uh, Mr. Berkelia, the first example? Real cola tastes 60% less sugar. Drink it to believe it. And how about the second? Removes 99.9% of it. And um, what have you observed from the examples given? There are numbers. The numbers, and yes. What else? I get your point. Yes, I catch my mind. It's unbelievable. Yeah, like it is unbelievable, right? Yeah. Miss Alamis, thank you so much for that great idea. And it's like manipulating, yes, Mr. Berkelia? It's like by saying it's 60% less sugar, it's like insinuating or applying the other products or other colas, other drinks that have higher percentage of sugar is bad or more terrible. Oh, that's correct. Thank you so much. Your ideas are very great. And now, the last one is the glittering generality. So please read Mr. Galvez. Glittering generalities. It, it uses a feeling words and images to sell the product. It tells us that if you buy the item, you will be using a wonderful product and it will change your life. For better effect, brands appear to use hyperboles, metaphors, or, or lyrical phrases to attract more attention. And can you give your idea about that, Mr. Galvez? Okay, so in my own perspective, um, these virtual generalities will um, persuade you to buy um, a certain product because uh, they will um, use metaphors, hyperboles, that will encourage your uh, persuade you because I because they also use um, testimonies or 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 any words that will um, somehow guide you to purchase that product. Very good, you got the very point, my dear. So the advertis the advertisements um, contain enticing words that can change your life, so that consumers will buy. So for example. Um, it takes a special chocolate to make everyone happy. So, what do you think is the word that used to um, entice the audiences? The word to make everyone happy? Special. Yeah, the special. Very good. And the best coffee for you, uh, for the best you. What words yes. are used to? Best. best. Yeah, the best. That's, um, that's the words used to uh, entice, to persuade the audience has to buy and the la next one is bandwagon so can you please read miss iana bandwagon it is all about persuading the target audience to take action it's about creating an urge amongst people to become a part of the in crowd this is a technique that persuades people by showing them that everyone else are doing the same thing very good. Thank you so much, Miss Iana. So, um, this propaganda technique um, is not very new to us, right? Because we have heard it um, a lot of times. So, um, for example, so these are examples. So, Nike, just do it. Everyone else do it. And then um, the next example, can you read it, please, Miss Alamis, with full emotions? Alright, so... Tasty plate breakfast cereal. Everyone is enjoying it. Thank you so much. Wow, I like the way you speak and you deliver your words, Miss Alamis. 
So, yeah, this is a um, propaganda technique that tells people to do or buy or make something because everyone else is doing it. All right? Am I understood? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. All right. So, the last one, the last common type of propaganda technique is transfer. So, please read everyone. Thank you so much. So that is the uh, transfer technique of propaganda. And this is the example. So the statement are uh, the Santa says, Coke time. And the audience is meant to transfer its positive feelings about Santa into positive feelings about consuming or buying coke. Though the two are no in no way related. And this one, who among you here um, is familiar with black pink? Black pink. So everyone, right? So um, there are a lot of people, or especially teenagers, are imitating or copying the styles of black pink because um, they have the feeling of they are giving the black um that outfit a uh, positive feeling that's right all right so that's it so thank you so much and to apply your learning so do you understand or do you understand the topic we have for today yes, yes. Um, all right so to um uh, to apply your understanding so we have here um reading can be of help to analyze the intentions and purposes of words exhibited and Propaganda. Hence, you will create a 30 second to 1 minute video presentation that contains the summary of the propaganda techniques present in the short story A Mother's Tale by James Aji. And um, your group will be the same, like the group in the activity earlier. And you will be graded according to these rubrics. And this is for uh, the assessment, it's for our long quiz on Tuesday. And so for the last time that we will really check if you have if you guys have learned our topic. So I want three students to answer the questions. Just a very short takeaway to complete the statement. All right. So um, today I have learned that propaganda is yes, Mr. Galvez. Okay. So today I have learned that propaganda is very vital in our society because. Even in the social media or the television, it is used to um, to let the people know or familiar about your product so that they may uh, buy it and purchase it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, that's a very good um, point, Mr. Galvez. And the next one is, I have also learned that propaganda has different types of techniques such as, okay, what are those techniques? Yes, Ms. Lamarellas, take it away. I think uh, that is bandwagon, the transformation, the glittering generalities, um, the card stacking, and uh, the testimonial. Very good. Love your hands, guys. Very good. And for the last question, um, for the last statement, I, I have understood that words and expressions play an important role in a propaganda because. Yes, Mr. Berkelia. We will because oh. because words are persuasive, and the more persuasive a propaganda or an advertisement is, the more likely a customer will buy it from. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. That's very good. That's very a very nice point, Mr. Berkelia. And thank you so much, guys, for your time. And I hope that you have learned a lot for today's lesson. So thank you, and. Class dismissed. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, and thank you, Mom Divine.